Yeah. 
the father and the son he is god so this is also a song written by me in the year 1999 on the year of the holy spirit so there are very few songs adoring holy spirit so this is one such a song where we are adoring the holy spirit as we proclaim in the credo he is giver of life adored with the father and the son abba ke sabal now let us focus on jesus as we adore jesus let us remember what jesus spoke John's gospel he said seven i am saying in John's gospel known as seven i am saying the first one is jesus said in john chapter 651 i am the bread of life came down from heaven who ever eat me and drink me in him i live and he lives in me i am the living bread so here is that living bread from heaven i am this is the same i am moses heard from the burning bush in john chapter 8 12 jesus said i am the light of the world i am the light of the world today morning in the first session we saw that jesus also said you are the light of the world so when jesus that i am is in each one of us we become another jesus so let us adore him thank him jesus said i am the light of the world who ever follow me will not walk in darkness next in john chapter 10:7 Three, he said, "I am the door. Jesus. I am the door. He is the door to the eternity. He is the door to heaven. Jesus. 
and next he said in John 10:11 I am the good shepherd I am the good shepherd you are all my sheep my sheep follow me my sheep listen to my voice and follow me I give my life for my sheep Oh Lord, I adore you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Then John 11:25, Jesus said, "I am the resurrection and life." Jesus, I am the resurrection and life. Jesus, He is the Alpha and Omega. Jesus, He is the one who is. who was and the one who will be coming that jesus is here the one who is who was and the one who is going to come that jesus is here then he said i am the way the truth and the life I am the way truth and the life. Yes Lord. And lastly he said I am the vine you are all my branches. Remain in me I remain in you. Holy Father for Francis yesterday was speaking in Venice. Jesus said he said Jesus is the true wine that is the eternal life and the sap of eternity is flowing from him to each one of us that's an eternal love remain in me i remain in you so all these seven i am is now infused in each one of us through baptism confirmation and the most holy eucharist with that understanding let us all raise our hands and praise god maybe we can stand up and praise god loudly praising the seven i am saying everybody praise hallelujah 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 You are the wine and branch Hallelujah hallelujah Jesus Jesus hallelujah 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 hallelujah
please be seated sit down and recognize you are sitting in front of that great light a great light a spiritual light greater than many sun suppose a stone lies in the sunlight a piece of rock lying in the sunlight imagine what will happen in few minutes in few minutes that piece of rock will become warm the rock is not doing anything so that is how the eucharistic adoration when we are in front of the great divine spiritual light the radiation the illumination the enlightening pass through our body our mind and our soul and illumine us so let us surrender totally or consecrate totally to the lord o oh lord may your divine light shine on us shine deep in our deepest in our soul in our mind in our imagination in our inner organs in our inner convictions and you jesus you are the eternal high priest jesus said in gethsemane in mark chapter 14 32 jesus said sit with me while i pray you sit with me i pray for you believe that when we are in adoration when we are with jesus jesus as a high priest pray for us he is praying for us and we have to receive the grace we have to receive the grace of his prayer keep your hands open and say lord yes pray for me you know my weaknesses you know my failures you know the areas i have to be transformed you know the formation which are the area needed believe jesus transform us through his presence through his word through his holy spirit he transform us when jesus came in the house of that widow who son died and jesus laid his hands on the dead body of that boy young man and jesus said young man i said to you arise the dead boy got up jesus one day asked me is it because he understood what i spoke he was dead so my dear friends believe jesus' words are so powerful even a dead person received new life lazarus come out lazarus was dead and his body began to decay but his word his presence 
has power to give resurrection. Believe that is how he will be transforming us to be a holy priest or a holy nun. He will do it. Let us have that confidence. Oh Jesus, I thank you for this day. In one day from morning to now, please recollect what benefit you received, what particular word of God touched you. We have seen the two candles in the morning. You already got that impulse that I have to be a candle. I have to be like Jesus. But I must melt. I must melt my pride. I must melt my whatever my own will offer our will to the will of God. Jesus is very, very important concept, concept to us. Father, I have come to do your will. Jesus God himself, but he was obedient to Father. Through obedience, he received the, all the graces. Obedience is the root of all graces. And disobedience is the root of all sin. Our papal preacher, Cardinal Renero Candelamesa. There is a book, small book by him, titled Obedience is the Root of All Graces. Disobedience is the Root of All Sin. In our religious life, Our obedience has a lot of meaning. So also conse consecrating our own will and choosing to do the will of God. So let us do, let us act. Yes, Lord, here I am to do your will. Your will. Reveal to me what is your will about me. Here I am, Lord. Here I am. I have come to do your will. Now, let us remain in silence a couple of minutes, believing Jesus is praying for you. Maybe you may get some inspiration.